Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of November 22, 2021. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate Bond ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy energy sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $56.64. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.23. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell utility sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $67.42. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.25. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Halliburton Company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $23.6. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.38. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Valero Energy was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Valero Energy is a bear normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 25.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $71.88, but we expect a possible sell price of $73.19. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $70.62, unless is undervalued. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of financial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy MasterCard Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $369.02. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.16. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Berkshire Hathaway. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $282.14. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.48. American Express was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $175, and the sell call strike price was sold at $177.5. We are holding it unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 26, 2021. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Bank of America has a sell put strike price at 
a buy put strike price at $46.5, a buy call strike price at $46.5, and a sell call strike price at $47. This spread option will expire on November 26, 2021, and the estimated price is at $0.55. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, US Bank Corp has a sell put strike price at $56, a buy put strike price at $58, a buy call strike price at $59, and a sell call strike price at $63. This spread option will expire on November 26, 2021. And the estimated price is at $0.65. real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $259.46. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $1.64. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $167.97. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $2.78. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Johnson & Johnson. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $160.4. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.18. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Boeing Company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $222.33. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $1.62. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell FedEx Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $246.91. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $1.94. 3M Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that 3M Company is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $180.36. But we expect a possible sell price of $183.53. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $173.23, unless is undervalued. Material sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy air products chemicals. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $300.53. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $7.61. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell.
Air Products Chemicals was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Air Products Chemicals is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $298.78 but we expect a possible sell price of $306.67. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $297.47, unless is undervalued. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell the Home Depot. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $403.01. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $2.95. Netflix Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Netflix Incorporated is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 4.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $676.27, but we expect a possible sell price of $691.55. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $657.11, unless is undervalued. Nike Incorporated was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. This is a new buy suggested butterfly option. On the table, Starbucks Corporation has two buy calls strike price at $109, and at $114, and a sell call strike price at $111.5. This spread option will expire on November 26, 2021, and the estimated price is at $0.96. Tesla Incorporated was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of staples sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Kraft Heinz company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $35.66. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.26. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Costco wholesale. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $527.63. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $1.02. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of technology sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy applied materials. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 8.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $150.86. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.96. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Applied materials was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Applied Materials is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 6.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 8.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $160.16.
On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $143.28, unless it's undervalued. Hewlett Packard was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Hewlett Packard is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $31.74, but we expect a possible buy price of $30.92. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $32.22, unless it's overvalued. Hewlett Packard was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $31, and the buy put strike price was bought at $32. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 26, 2021. Communication Sector ETF was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $79.5, and the sell call strike price was sold at $80.5. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 26, 2021. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy T-Mobile US. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $114.26. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $1.41. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Duke Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $100.81. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.72. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Southern Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $63.14. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.1. Next Hera Energy was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Next Era Energy is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $87.31, but we expect a possible buy price of $85.51. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $87.69, unless it's overvalued. Southern Company was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Southern Company is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $62.73, but we expect a possible buy price of $61.97. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $63.15, unless it's overvalued. Bitcoin belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. There is a mild opportunity to buy Binance Coin. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 23.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $577.81.
On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Cosmos. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 9.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $31.47. Chainlink was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Chainlink is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 10.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 13.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $30.05, but we expect a possible sell price of $30.8. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $26.51, unless is undervalued. Ethereum was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Ethereum is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 5.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $4,167, but we expect a possible sell price of $4,461. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $4,062, unless is undervalued. Tron was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Tron is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 25.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 15.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $0.1173. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $0.1015, unless is undervalued. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.